Hey YouTube, it's ICU here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a custom firmware using Snowbreeze and how to restore your iDevice to it. So Snowbreeze now works for 4.1, and it works for any firmware from 3.1 to 4.1. Just to get this out of the way really quick, it does not support the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 4th generation, or the iPad. And for a further list of compatibility issues, please check the more info because I'm not going to go over every single thing with you guys. And I will not respond to questions about if it'll work for your iDevice or not. I just won't even acknowledge them. So now that we've got that out of the way, I'm just going to go ahead and start this video. What you're going to need first is the firmware that you want. And to do that, you're going to come to this website and you're just going to find your device and the firmware, select it, and then click download. I already have mine download, not going to worry about that. Next thing is that you need WinRAR or some type of RAR extracting program to get uh, the tools that we're going to need from I Hate Snow's website in order to jailbreak your iDevice. And he decided to uh, zip them, and this is what you guys are going to use to unzip them. So you're going to need to go to Downloads, and you're going to need to find the download that applies for you, get it, install it. Then what you're going to do is come to I Hate Snow's website here, and you're going to download both Snowbreeze 2 and iRev. Once you have that done, you're going to uh, open up Snowbreeze 2 first, and you'll get this. You can either drag this to your desktop, or you can click Extract, or you can just double uh, click it, and you will get this. It asks you if you want to check for updates, but I know this is the latest version, and it even says right there it works for firmwares 3.1 through 4.1, and then I'm just going to go next, and then I'm going to go expert mode, and you guys should all do expert mode too, so it gives you the choices and you know what you're working with, and then I'm going to browse for the IPSW, which is what you guys should have downloaded from this website. It basically is just another way of saying firmware. And then uh, I know where mine is, so I'm just going to get that really quick. It's right there. And then it's going to process it, and then uh, it's verified it, so I'm just going to click Next. And then I'm going to go through all the steps with you guys really quick. Activate the phone is another way of saying Hacktivate. If you're on another carrier other than AT&T, such as T-Mobile, I'm on AT&T though, so I don't want it to activate it. I want it to enable background wallpaper, battery percent, and multitasking and making an ISPW NOR only basically just means it flashes a different uh, boot logo or recovery logo to your iDevice and you just would restore like you or like I'm gonna show you how to restore uh, to this custom firmware it's just the same deal uh, but all it changes is your uh, recovery logo and your boot logo without having to actually restore your whole device so I'm gonna go next from there and then basically it's just saying my device is an iPhone 3G and unfortunately they couldn't get together with Muscle Nerd to actually implement the unlock for it. Uh, but it's saying that if you just uh, go to the repo 666.ultrasnow.com inside of Cydia once you finish jailbreaking then you can apply the unlock that way. Then I'm just going to go next and then here you have the option to add custom packages in the form of deb files or to download them from specific sources or to add sources. So I'm just going to go next from here and then you have the option to do custom recovery and boot logos. I'm not going to do either one of those. And then next and then you just build it. I already have mine built so I'm not going to build it. Now by default Snowbreeze saves your firmware onto your desktop and mine's right here. And then uh, once you've done that you're just going to plug in your iDevice and you're going to open up uh, the iRev that we downloaded and it'll look just like Snowbreeze and you want to just double click on it to open it up again and basically what it is is it sets your iPhone into a certain mode so it can bypass the errors that you will most likely get if you try and do it without this mode and they're basically just 1600 errors and if you have uh, your 3.1.2 iPSW uh, then you can do the offline mode but I recommend doing the online mode anyway and what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to set your iPhone or iPod touch into DFU mode by holding down the home and the power button together for 10 seconds and then you're just gonna let go of the power button and continue holding the home button which is what I'm doing right now and you'll know it's in DFU mode because iTunes will pop up 
Oh, and you'll also hear a noise if your speakers are on. So now I am in DFU mode. And what I'm going to do is just select online mode, internet required, iPhone 3G. And then it's setting it into it for me. And now iTunes will pop up a bunch of times. Just leave iTunes open. Don't actually close out of iTunes because it's required for it to set it into the mode. And you'll notice that your screen will go white slash black a couple times and uh, it'll just vary between that and then at the very end when it's done you'll see a little firmware symbol with a little snowflake around it and it also says waiting for custom firmware and then it's just saying that you want to uh, open up iTunes and restore to your custom firmware and it's also saying that if you get a 2003 error in iTunes after extracting just unplug it and replug it and try it again so now that you've done that, you're just going to open up iTunes here, go to your device in the Devices drop-down, hold down Shift and click on Restore, and then browse for the custom firmware that you made with Snowbreeze, and then just click on it, and then click Open, and it extracts it and restores to it. I'm not going to do it because I actually already did it and made the video, only to realize that it didn't record the audio, so I just decided to screw it and redo the whole thing instead of trying to guess what I said where. So, uh, yeah guys, that's basically it. It'll work 100%. I'm positive of that. Uh, if you have any questions, or if it doesn't work for you, then uh, I guess you can just leave it in the comments. But, like I said, if it doesn't work for you, then I'm guessing your device either A, isn't supported, or B, you just didn't do it right. Or you got a 2003 error and you didn't unplug slash replug it. So I hope you guys like this video. Please stay tuned for more videos. And if you aren't subscribed to me, please subscribe to me for some high quality videos and tutorials. This is ICU signing out.